Hello everyone, you might already be familiar with the cavalcade of amazing RPG Maker games, you know, 2000, 2003, etc. Or even played the original PlayStation 1 RPG Maker. Awesome, awesome stuff all around. I used to love that, I made a few RPGs. And the gist of it is that uh, you have to have, be very, very patient and have perseverance because it can take you an hour to make a game that only takes a minute. So you can imagine how long it takes to make a game with RPG Maker that might take you six hours to beat. It might take you 600 hours to make a game like that. Literally a day in, day out thing. And I respect and give huge props to all the people who worked on this incredible game called Zelda Trident of Power. Yes, a fan-made Zelda game for Easy RPG. And uh, again, Requiem and Black Sunshine, thank you for telling me about this game. I wasn't even aware of it. But it uh, has uh, control issues, which we're going to do a little bit of a workaround for. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to push this like button to start here and show you the options when you first start it. And you can do a uh, start new game. You can go to a save file, which we will provide a save file to get to the first dungeon from the get-go if you don't want to have to go through the town. And, of course, end game. But right now, we're going to go to the save file. Right there, save file. And uh, typically, if you play a game like even like Final Fantasy, sometimes you are forced to go through towns and talk to everybody and equip before you can get into the combat. But other games, they'll let you leave the towns right away, go right into the forest, woods, etc., and get your ass kicked. I mean, I've gone on the Chocobo and going uh, to South Kingdom Come and just got taken out by slimes or enemies that I shouldn't have been fighting yet. But here, we have no sword play. We have to actually activate combat mode, but on top of that, we have to do something else. I mean, let's get out of this back cave for a moment here. Uh, we're going to go to the outside. You're going to notice there are graphical glitches. We're going to take care of the graphical glitches and the control issues. Uh, Double indemnity style here. Alfred Hitchcock presents awesome, awesome stuff here. If you like Twilight Zone, watch Alfred Hitchcock presents. It is more psychological, tone, thriller, in the vein of stuff like Psycho, all that fun stuff. Uh, North by Northwest, all that cool stuff. But let's go into the quick menu options here. And I love my horror anthology shows, everything from the original Boards Curl Off Thriller to Alfred Hitchcock Presents to even stuff like the 1990s awesome kid shows such as Goosebumps and Are You Afraid of the Dark. We're going to tap up once here, debug menu and walk through walls. We're going to actually uh, enable that. Then we're going to go up and we're going to program four functions here. Just watch carefully. And uh, just do four buttons. Hopefully you have a controller which has these adequate control schemes. We're going to do L2. We're going to make this... Uh, Open debug menu. We're going to do R2. We'll be walkthrough walls. I mean, I would normally not play the game with walkthrough walls or debug menu, but uh, just for the context and uh, demonstration of this video, I'm going to. L1, we're going to make the uh, number one. R1, we're going to make number two. And you'll see why. We're going to go back into the game here. And uh, notice how we have graphical glitches. I'm going to open up the menu here. And I, I need to tap the one button, which will be my L1, which I just programmed here. And then I need to go down to options. And then we're going to go to graphic effects and disable them. Now we have no more graphical glitches. And then we're going to go out of the menu here. And then we're going to go back into the dungeon. But I love my solo style games. But first of all, we need to have a weapon here. We don't have a weapon. So we're going to go in the debug menu and think of 3, 2, 1, contact. We're going to go down to the switches here. 3. And we're going to go down to 71, 80 to start with. 2. Then we're going to go down to the sword out, which would be 1. So three, two, one, and then we're gonna go back for contact. Now we got a sword. We can take out the bats here. And speaking of bats, it worked the other day. I was on the tow motor moving some machinery around, and uh, there was a pile of leaves on the ground. And I was wondering what the hell is going on with this pile of leaves. It literally looked like this rock here, but as I drove the tow motor like I'm Link right here, by it, it started fluttering. I'm like, what the hell is this? It was a bat. It was impoverished. It was dehumidified. It was. Uh, it dehydrated. I mean, it has not eaten or had access to water in 24 hours. So me and a fellow co-worker got it on a piece of cardboard, took it out to the blades of grass, of which it had just rained upon, and it was able to get enough moisture to fly away and get back to the back cave. So Bruce Wayne should be very pleased there. We're going to go into this little dungeon area here. We're going to take on the Clipsa Flockhart from Scary Movie 2. And I love the Wines Brothers driven uh, movies. Scary movie 1 and 2, but of course 3, 4, 5 were still fun to play, I mean, as far as movies were concerned. I love my parody movies. And even the Wines Brothers did like a Fifty Shades of Grey style movie, which is pretty fun too. Okay, uh, we're going to go back in the debug menu here. And if it doesn't work the first time, do it again. 3, 2, 1, contact, sort out. If it doesn't work, you can just do it again. There we go, switch, and it's going to show me the next portion. Uh, dee -doo 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 -doo. And of course, with our Zelda themed games, I mean, uh, some recommendations would be if you have TurboGrafx 16 core, which would be Madden Fen, PCE Fast, Run, Newtopia 1 and 2, which are damn awesome. And here's a little bit of a 
incongruity here. Uh, if you look at when Dota 3 came out for Super Nintendo, and when uh, Natopia 2 came out for uh, PC Engine, aka TurboGrafx-16, they came out around the same time, so you kind of got to wonder who copied off of who. I mean, did Dota 3 take some elements from Natopia 2, or what? But the original Natopia 1, uh, should we say, I think that uh, some of the elements from Zelda 3 were taken from Natopia 2, or vice versa, but the original Natopia 1 was definitely taken from Zelda 1, uh, to, so to speak. But in any case, uh, we also have games uh, such as Dragon, uh, Codex Go Warrior on Sega Master System, which is another action RPG style game. Uh, in the vein of Zelda, and of course we have 3D dot game heroes made by From Software, who went on to make stuff such as Demon Souls, Dark Souls, and etc. What was the Tunisia Samurai Feudal Japan game? We need to get our sword back out here. Uh, let's do switches. Three, two, one. Contact back. We should have our sword. Yeah. And we got our little things from, uh, what's that one game on Sega Master System, which had, like, warm creatures like that. It was a side screw and action RPG game. Music is awesome! Get some rupees. Okay. And here's where the walk through walls is going to come in handy, just to get the gist of the game. Bam! Walk through walls. Get this little item here. A small shard of silver. This mineral is used by high category Smith. Okay. Let's go through walk through walls again. Uh, to the next area here. Uh, where can we go through Bam! There we go. Screw it over here. And again, this is just a test right now. I would not normally play the game with the walk through walls. But you're gonna see why in a moment here. Okay, we got our sword out, so we can't open the chest. So, three, two, one, contact. Bam, bam. Okay, let's try it one more time. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Open the chest. Okay, if it, you first do, do that, succeed, try, try again. But again, we're gonna try to get it fixed with the uh, final release here. But uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're gonna go into uh, uh, options here. Uh, right here. Options. And you go down to commands. These are all the commands we have, but they're not all programmed into the core. We need the D button. Yes, we got to give the D here. They have the shield. X for secondary weapon. Z for talk. Uh, observe, attack, etc. We can move our characters with the arrow keys. But the out key is what we need for combat mode. And, of course, we have uh, 1 and 2, which are for the menus here. We have 9 for map. F5 for the graphics menu. F4 for full screen windowed mode. F12 for title screen windowed mode. So, yes, it'd be nice to have all these programs. But as of right now, we go into the core options. We go down to the button here. Uh, say L3, which would be my, like, uh, analog button on there. We can actually go to the right. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, blah, blah, blah. We don't have all the functions here, but yes, uh, we'll try to get these all worked in for the final release here. But for right now, we'll leave it to what we have. For walkthrough walls, open debug menu 1 and 2, which are the primary things to worry about to at least have the game running. Okay. Uh, exit this menu right here. Uh, let's get out of this menu real quick. Bam. Okay, let's go into this dungeon here. And here's where walk through walls is going to be helpful to at least see a little bit more of the chips there. Because if I don't walk through walls, I'm going to hit the spikes and die. But I can hold the walk through walls and go bam, 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 bam. Right to the next section here to at least show you what's going on here. Again, it's a demonstration of the awesomeness of the game. I would normally never use like a cheat code or such when I'm playing the game legitimately. But I need to at least show you this tutorial-wise so you know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to show you how to start a new game as well. Let's get back into the wall here. Uh, there we go. Now we're going to go through here legitimately. And uh, we need to have our sword out. Yes. Yeah.